Hello dear viewers, welcome back to the channel Basic Home First Aid. Today I am going to show you how to treat a menstrual cramp or pain and when to consider going to see your healthcare provider. Before I continue, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, do that now by clicking on the subscription button and the notification bell to know when we release a new video. Menstrual pain or cramp is also known as dysmenorrhea and refers to pain that occurs during menstruation. It is one of the most commonly reported menstrual disorder. According to the American College of Obstetrician and Gynecologists, more than one half of women who menstruate have some pain for one to two days each month. Menstrual pains can be primary or secondary. Primary is the most common one and occurs due to the release of natural chemicals like prostaglandins, which are made in the lining of the uterus. Why Secondary is usually due to an underlying reproductive organ pathology such as an endometriosis or a fibroid. The pain occurs due to the contraction of the uterus caused by the release of prostaglandins and usually happens right before menstruation starts. It can be associated with headache, dizziness, nausea, and fatigue. Your aims here are to relieve the pain and to prevent reoccurrence during your next period. One of the most effective ways to reduce the pain here is to use over-the-counter non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications such as ibuprofen which all work by reducing the amount of prostaglandins. Note that you should not take this medication if you have a peptic ulcer or kidney disease. See your healthcare provider for more advices. Applying heat to the abdomen or lower back may help relieve the pain. Use a bottle of hot but not too hot water on your lower abdomen or on your back if you primarily feel the pains at the back. This method was used by a mother and probably their mothers and has proven to be effective. Taking a warm bath can also help relieve the pain if you cannot use a bottle of hot water. Also, grinding a small piece of ginger into hot water for a warm cramp relieving drink has also proven to be effective as ibuprofen. Exercise during your period can also help to reduce the pain, so try walking and doing simple exercise as you feel the pains. Now, to help prevent the pain during your next period, you can do the following. Maintain a healthy diet with limited salt intake. Avoid foods that contain caffeine. Avoid alcohol and smoking. Make sure you do regular physical exercise. Also avoid excess weight gain. Caution! If the menstrual pain is getting worse with time, rather than getting better or has started later in life in a woman who was not previously having menstrual pains, consult a medical doctor as this could be a secondary dysmenorrhea and the cause must be properly investigated and treated accordingly. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it helps someone out there. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more life-saving videos. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section. Section, we will be glad to help. Stay safe and never forget this. If not you, who?